Yeah, absolutely. So in every single experiment that we run, NMN actually outperformed NR um, mm-hmm. in in all of the cytotoxicity rescue assays uh, because we run. Um, many of them in order to verify um, our findings, right? So it it wasn't just one experiment. So we did colorimetric assays, we we did cell death assays, um, many, many experiments. And uh, as you can see uh, in every single one of them, NMN would would definitely be more beneficial. And I think that uh, it has to do with the fact that um, NMN is basically a phosphorylated NR molecule, right? So NR, uh, when we consume it, it needs to go through one extra step and convert itself into NMN, and then it would boost the NAD. But if you take NMN directly, it's only a one-step precursor. So our data are in alignment with what we uh, were thinking of would be the results as well here. Yeah, because we already have a paper showing that there is an NMN transporter, right? So interestingly, right. a few years ago, um, so what the hypothesis was that you actually like NMN cannot enter the cell and therefore, you know, an NR molecule, for example, would be more efficient to take as oral supplementation. But we can now see that this is not the case. And as I said, the NMN mouse studies are showing that NMN is blood brain barrier permeable and it does ameliorate those uh, dementia phenotypes in mice as well. Um, so, so what happens is that um, with this transporter that we have discovered uh, a few years ago, um, there is actually in, in that paper, there is data on uh, mRNA expression of this transporter in different tissues, right? Mm-hmm. So when we take it orally, um, there is actually increased absorption in the guts because we've seen that the expression of this transporter is actually very high in the digestive mm-hmm. system. And therefore, I think that um, you know, NMN oral supplementation um, is as good as it gets because there are different companies that are trying to uh, to say that there are different formats basically uh, of NMN. So you have the liposomal NMN and I've been approached by a company that told me that they would like to create a product for us with like a, a dermal patch with NMN. Mm-hmm. And I actually said, well, if you look at the data, the transporter is not expressed in the skin at all. So it actually wouldn't work, right? So, which was uh, pretty funny. And um, yeah, as I said, I mean, I think there are a lot of companies that just want to um, to kind of make profits out of this hype uh, of NAD boosters. So there are different things around. But um, when it comes to specifically going into the brain, I think that um, here we kind of need to to see what is our overall strategy when it comes to brain health and brain boosting, right? So we do take the element that supports the overall organismal function, but then there are some other compounds that would be um, more uh, specifically targeting the uh, the brain cellular function. So this is not NMN, so the NMN will be, uh, so you take it orally and then it's being distributed at different kind of tissues where it's needed the most. 